go that way. Okay. Just hop in there. Let's see how. Go ahead and try to paddle backwards. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we're in Homer, Alaska, and we're on this foldable kayak, and we're gonna try to catch a halibut on it. So we're in the salt water, in the ocean. Uh, I got with me today Raul, Jocelyn's sister, Stephanie, and her boyfriend Raul are visiting us right now in Homer, and uh, just hanging out. We're doing some fun stuff, hiking and all that stuff, and uh, now he wants to catch a fish. First, we're gonna try to get out to about 40 feet of depth, and uh, we'll try fishing there. If not, we'll go a little bit deeper. Today, the wind should stay down. As you can tell, it's like glass right now. It's beautiful. Hopefully, it stays this way, and uh, hope we get some fish. We're going for halibut. We're gonna try what we do in the bay and troll for halibut with herring. And they use herring here all the time as bait, but normally they don't troll much. They kind of anchor down and just fish just like that just send it down and anchored or they sometimes drift as well like we did on the boat but so we'll try a little bit of trolling and we'll try spinning the bait like we do in the bay and see if that works if not then we'll switch it up maybe we'll just drift around uh, and see and just try to get a fish yeah go ahead set it down you'll feel it hit the bottom we want it to be a little bit off the bottom all right we got this small herring here and pretty much the same kind of rig I got some big hooks. <laughs> We're gonna be hopefully catching big halibut. And I'm gonna put a slight bend on it too. Just give them, give them a little roll. We've got an eight ounce sinker right here. And we'll just clip it on. All right, so I don't have a fish finder on me. So I don't know the depth exactly right now, but I have my Okuma cold water with the line counter. Check it out. So you can just zero this out and I'll just I'll drop it all the way to the bottom. And it's going straight down. So whatever this says, I'm at 23 feet of water. So we're gonna try to target 40 feet. That's how I'm gonna kind of keep track of the depth. Alright. I'm gonna just slow do a slow troll. Once we get deeper, you'll have to let a little more line out too, just to stay right on the bottom. Bait got bit. Maybe some little oh, fish. Sure. <laughs> oh, might be the maybe just the bottom, but maybe it could be a fish too. Yeah, there's some fish around. Oh, whatever it is. Fish right there. Oh, badass jellyfish right there. Badass <laughs> jellyfish. Oh, that thing is super badass. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> Getting stoked for the jellyfish. All right, cool, man. Here we go. Yeah, take it out of the rod holder. Oh shoot, we're on guys. Raul is on. And it's a big one. It's just taking off. Tighten it a little bit more. Oh, he just woke up. Oh, no way. Dang, that thing was taking drag like crazy. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I was about to send a drone up, so I was just kind of getting that set up and it just... It took off. It took oh. Fish, right? oh yeah, you didn't snap off, so it just, uh, it just came off. All right, let's hook that thing up again. Let's yeah, down. let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, so that, I had a little bit of just a cut bait on Raul's setup and got a bite on it. That was a big fish. Man, I wonder I wonder how big that was. Well, what do you think, one. man? Was it heavy? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Really heavy? Yeah. Yeah, it looked, it looked like it was heavy. Yeah. That thing was taken. The drag was tight and it was still taken. So that, we just lost a big one. All right, we'll try. There. We'll try again. All right, since we got that big bite, we're just gonna kind of drift right here, and uh, I'm gonna fly my drone. Check out the view. Oh, Raul's on again. There we go. There we go, dude. 
Oh my god, what is going on? That's a huge fish, dude. Just, I don't crank yet? No, you, you won't be able to crank. It's just taking line. So we might have to so chase like, it, dude. Tired or something? No, you won't. You just can't crank it. You're just gonna. Try to tighten a little bit more? Yeah, feel it with your hand. Oh my god, dude, that's a huge fish. Bro, it's so on let a that thing stay bent like that. Yep, keep it bent. Oh my god, dude, I don't know what's going on. That's a huge fish. I mean, it just seems like a shark or something. Uh, but there's no there's no sharks here. Hope not. I mean, there's dogfish, but they're not that big. Dogfish are just not that big. Crank or no? Yeah, just tighten it a little bit more because that's good. Like that thing is harder. running, dude. My god. Yeah. We just don't want to snap off because I don't have another rig. Oh my god, we have to chase it, dude. All right, try to pump him up. No, he's... what is that? What is that, dude? It's like you're on a freaking whale. All right, I'm, let's chase him. All right. Yeah, dude, you were losing line. Crank it a little bit? Yeah, go for it. Crank it down. Yeah, button that drag down. Try to die. And... Oh, oh, shoot. Oh my god, dude. No, no, it's all. Pretty sure he snapped off. Yeah, I don't know what that is, dude. That doesn't seem like a halibut. <laughs> Seems like pull, a shark. Pull, pull that hard? It's not a halibut. The halibut doesn't pull that hard. And it, they don't pull that for that long either. Seemed like you were just snagged on the whale. <laughs> there was like no way you were bringing that in. Are right, we gonna change up the tactic a little bit here? We are just gonna try drifting. Um, I was thinking we had to kind of troll before because there's an 18 foot tide change today. So within six and a half hours, the water level changes 18 feet. That's a lot of moving water. So I thought the current was gonna be pretty strong, but actually the current's not strong at all. It's kind of pretty chill, surprisingly. So um, we're just gonna sit and drift and I think we're in a good spot. We're at about 55 foot of depth now. I think we should get one here. Cheers. All right, let's, hook them. let's grab a fish. All right, we gotta get a fish now. A little beer to change our luck. Well, it's been kind of slow past 30 minutes, so gotta change something up, right? Rolls on a fish. Good job, man. Heck yeah. You got this? When should I start pulling on it? Yeah, you can pull on it. Oh, I could? Yeah, tighten it a little bit more. That's a little too loose. Yeah, oh nice, nice. That's a good one. Pump up a little. Oh, real, real, real. And real down now. Real down. Real, 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 real. Yeah, don't let any slack. There you go. He's taken. Yeah, so you kind of want to pump up and then reel down. Make sure there's no slack. Yeah, there you go. Hey, that's a good one. He just woke up. Tighten down a little bit more. Tighten a little bit more. Yep. Good thing I brought my gaff. Oh, I see him. That's a nice one. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. Bring him towards me. Keep bringing him. Reel a little bit more. All right, don't. Uh, you okay. Yep, yep. You're good. You're good. No, don't bring his head out. Don't bring his head out. Keep his head in the water. Keep his head in there. Let him run. Let him run. Let him run. Yeah, bring it up, but don't bring his head out of the water, okay? Yep, you're good. A little bit more. Gently. Yep, you're perfect. Perfect. Bring him up a little more. That's a good one, dude. That's a perfect one. Left hand gaff right here. Left hand gaff shot. Come on, bring it up a little bit more. A little bit more. Bring it towards me, bring it towards me. A little more. Got him. Yes, Got him, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Oh. Heck yeah. Oh, that here. Checked it off the bucket Woo. list right there. Oh man. That's a nice halibut. Perfect halibut, dude. Woo! <laughs> nice, oh yeah, man. he just, oh, he swallowed that thing. That that hook is way in oh. there. Yeah! Right, yeah! We got dinner! Woo. I'm gonna just dispatch him with the knife. Yeah. We'll just throw him on the boat. We don't, I don't have a stringer. Right. Just cut his gills. Yeah, we'll let him bleed out a little bit. Okay. Seems like the cut bait is working. Yeah, good what, job. What do you think this thing weighs? 
Uh, that's about uh, eight pounds. Eight pounds, nice. All right, Raul's on the board. Nice, man. That's your first halibut? He's only caught a, 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 like a stock rainbow trout before. Yeah. That was nice. Good job, dude. All right, I want to hook up too. I want some fun. But that's good. I like seeing you. I like seeing you get one. And good thing I brought my gaff. I was really thinking like, should I really bring a gaff to Alaska in my van? I was like, there's some, some space for it. So I was like, yeah, I'll just bring it. Good thing I brought it. That was a, that was a good decision. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how calm it is. And there's like no current at all. We're just dead still. So let's grab this kelp right here. Maybe we could use that for a little catch and cook. The left, yeah. Bull whip kelp. Oh. Dang. Kelp. Kelp. <laughs> this is big. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on. Come on, good money. Yep. A little guy, what? smaller guy. It's a, it's a, it's a sole or a that, flounder. Is that, is that legal to eat too? Yeah. Huh? It's a flounder. Look at that. Oh, he's on, he's on my lap. Check that out. That little flounder, dude. Looks like a, like a, like a rock sole or something. Some kind of flounder. Cool. That'll work. All right, I'm gonna dispatch and bleed him. We're gonna keep fishing right here. I'm gonna drop back down right now, real quick. Oh, it's that big giant thing again, dude. Dude, you got a fish? You got I a got big fish. Huge again. Got some, oh, dude. <laughs> I got something huge again. I hope it's not that seal. I think it's a seal. Oh, man, it's huge again. <laughs> it's just going. It's gonna pull us over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pulling too hard. Third time it's happened to him. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, it, I think every time it was a seal. There's no way that's a halibut. They don't run like that. <laughs> either a seal or hooked on a whale <laughs> oh that whale i was making the sound earlier but we did hear one whale we didn't see it but we heard a whale it comes up right now yeah you can let us nap we're, we're done anyways oh man it's pulling so hard yeah <laughs> it's pulling so hard it's, it's like, dude it's pulling us look how much we're moving right now it's pulling the, so hard man you can see the water just ripple off the kayak because it's just pulling us. Let him snap it. It's all good. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, the GoPro. Don't lose the oh. GoPro. oh, man. Ooh, almost flipped over. All right, guys. Well, we're going to head back in. And let's go make some lunch. Yeah. We can't on let the... Uh, we can't keep the girls waiting too long. So <laughs> we'll see you guys back on land. Here we go. All right. Well, a little slow bite. But Raul got his first fish. So that's that was good. Uh, success. We have the halibut here. Oh, he took his head off, gutted it. Let's just give him a fillet and let's make a quick lunch. I'm starving. I think we're gonna make some halibut sandwiches. Uh, and we're gonna do a little panko crusted halibut with uh, kelp, um, kelp coleslaw. That should be good too. All right, let's get it going. Should hear those bones when you're flying. Make sure you get really nice and close. No meat left behind. Just work up the spine. Just take your time. Scrape all that meat off. And have a real clean fillet. And just peel away. Just peel away nicely. Just like that. Just put it over here for now. And that's one side done. Let's do the other side. And just peel. I'm gonna put a hole right here. I think that'll make it a little easier to handle. It's all slippery. And just pull it. Boom. Boom. Going off my board here. There we go. There we go. All bones there. 
We'll just toss that back in the ocean. Uh, this halibut, like, they don't have much uh, and go on them. They have nice fish fillet sandwiches. Awkward size fish here. I'm pretty starving. So with the kelp, we'll try to make some kelp pickles, but I don't have any vinegar. We got some lemons though. So we're just gonna uh, marinate some in lemons and try to do a little lemon pickled kelp. We wanna blanch this really quick. Normally that's what I do. Since I don't really feel like getting water boiling, I'm just gonna grill it on the fire really quick. And give it a nice little smoky flavor. There you go. They're all getting nice and green. That's a good sign. Salty, smoky. Let me get my lemons. One more half. That should be good. I'm gonna let that soak. Pick one in the lemon juice. We got a cabbage here. Got a serrano pepper. Go a little bit of serrano. Might be a little bit spicy. Half. I mean, this one's not that spicy, is it? Got well, a little bit of yuzu juice. Actually, I forgot my main ingredient. My kelp. My kelp. Yeah, I guess we could cook it a little bit first. Cool. Okay, that's good. Just a quick cook. All right, we'll get a seasoning with a little pepper. And I don't think it needs any salt because this kelp itself is salty. So we'll just let the kelp kind of salt everything. Then we'll put a little QP in there. And I need chopsticks to mix it up and we'll be it. And yeah, give it a taste. Mmm, that's bomb. Actually needs a little salt. That's really good though. Got a nice kick to it. The yuzu comes through. Very refreshing. The mayo just adds a lot of flavor. A lot of umami. That's done. See how our kelp pickles are doing. Let's just taste one of these. That's pretty damn good. Cool, well that's done, that's done. We're just gonna have to panko these up and get some hot oil going, fry everything, and that's it. <laughs> just gonna score this guy, make an X, turn X on both sides. Generous amount of salt. We have some ancho chili powder. Put a good amount of that on there too. My pan's getting hot over here. Dust it with a little cornstarch and we'll just throw it in there in the hot oil. All right, we're gonna season these fillets and we'll batter it up, throw them in the hot oil. The firmness of this halibut is so cool, like when they're so fresh. And I think there is a difference between the ones we catch in the bay, the California halibut, and these halibut, which are called Pacific halibut. It's a difference in flavor. These actually, I think, in my opinion, have more flavor and even better. Let me go take care of this guy right here. All right, that's done. Ooh, gosh, that looks amazing. Now let's get our halibut in here. Ooh, the oil might be a little too hot here. You can see it's browning already. Move the fire a little. Hi, buddy. 
And this one is done. Beautiful. First, I'm going to go in with the kelp slaw. Oh, I'm going with the, with the fish. Throw some avocados on there too. Might as well. And then we'll go in with the kelp pickles. That's a loaded sandwich right there. <laughs> nice. And there should be enough sauce. Plenty of sauce from the slaw. Ooh. Mmm, yum. That looks good. Alright, let me get the rest of the fish and let's eat. All right, yeah, cheers, cheers. cheers. Thanks for taking me out to the ocean. Yeah. Fishing. Nice. Awesome. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. It's a homer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Homer's been great. It has been great. Mm. Really good. Mm. Oh, this salad is so good. Mm. I'm going to fold it back up and go again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> When I clean out the fish, cut up, cut open the stomach, and in there were like five clams. These halibut are eating clams, and there was even a crab in there. I thought that was pretty crazy. That was cool. Well, this is delicious. And good job, dude. Thank you for huh. catching it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. We were gonna give up, so. Yeah. Mm. How's it? I love the Food. kelp. Mm -hmm. The kelp's really good. Yeah, the, kelp's really the kelp good. pickles? Yeah. Or the kelp slaw? Mm -hmm. The kelp slaw. Mm -hmm. The kelp slaw. Mm -hmm. He's a good combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my mead, mead. is delicious. Yep. Nice. Made in Homer. Nice. Everything's grown in Homer. The honey, <laughs> the berries. And the halibut. Mm -hmm. Not too bad for your first fish. Not Probably about a 27 <laughs> inch halibut. And it's a great tasting one. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us on this adventure, and thanks to Stefan Rommel for coming to Alaska and joining us on our trip. Mm -hmm. They're just here for the week, so we have, they have a few days left. We're gonna go out to Seward and hang out over there as well. Go see some glaciers. We've been doing a lot of hiking. Anyways, a little bit of that will be on our second channel, Tackling the World. If you guys want to check it out. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh wait, we forgot about your fish. Mm. All right. The fish. <laughs> the fish. The fried fish. <laughs> yeah. All right, I fried up a little bit of halibut cheek, and cheek. Rose's gonna give it a try. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. That's good, huh? Yeah, that's really good. Real flaky. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was gonna give you some back. Hey, <laughs> you can have that one. Yeah? Steph, you, yeah, you can have that okay. one. I'm not sure if I am anymore. Thank you. Mmm. Yeah, really it's like good. super, super flaky. Mm -hmm. It is, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Now let's eat the burgers. Yeah. Let's, well, let's crack a beer, actually. You wanna crack this beer right here? Mm -hmm. A lot of, uh, yeah. Grace Ridge. Yeah. Crack a beer from Homer. Grace Ridge. Nice. Little IPA. Peak. 